right, the WBC officially makes Tyson Fury the mandatory for Deontay Wilder and pushes Dillian White to the back seat. Let's talk about it. We we'll back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and us get into it. And uh, Dillian White is not the, the mandatory for Deontay Wilder. He held the silver championship for a long time. He never did his two mandatory or two title eliminators or even one. He refused to fight Luis Ortiz. He refused to um, fight a few guys, all right, to get that mandatory. So um, he stayed the silver champion. He failed the drug test prior to uh, the Oscar Rivas fight. And pretty much now the WBC is saying that, you know, until his name is clear, he won't be a mandatory until 2021. So Deontay Wilder been getting a lot of flack for not having to fight his mandatory but I think he fought Dominic Brazil, who got a mandatory spot by beating Eric Molina a couple years ago. Uh, he beat Remain Stavern, who was a mandatory. And now uh, he never fought Dillian White because Dillian White never was the mandatory. He never wanted to fight Luis Ortiz to, to satisfy that title eliminator, which if you look in the WBC Silver Rules, he has to fight a title eliminator or even two. And he never wanted to do that. So he filled the drug test. The UCAD, they're trying to figure it out. We've been waiting for months and months and months for the UCAD to give us, uh, or Eddie Hearn to give us clarification when uh, Dillian White's name is going to be cleared. He's a repeat offender, so I don't know what's taking so long with the investigation. I'm pretty sure the B sample has come back already. So, you know, Dillian White going to sit there and cry and complain, but had he went on and just fought Luis Ortiz, they talk about Ortiz and people say he's 62 years old and he got, ther he got therapeutic Grandma gloves on. Everybody talk about Luis Ortiz, but don't nobody want to fight Luis Ortiz. Dillian White could have fought him last July. He chose to fight Joseph Parker. He could have fought him in December. He chose to fight Derek Chisora. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, they, every, they, you know, they can talk all they want to. Oh, Ortiz is an old man. Nobody wanted to fight Ortiz but Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to get credit where credit is due. It had Dillian White just beat Luis Ortiz and beat the old man. Guess what? He would have had a title shot at Wilder already. He would have got done just like Dill uh, Dominic Brazil got done. Hey, he could even fought Dominic Brazil for a uh, title eliminator mandatory. I forgot about that. Dominic Brazil was ready to put was willing to put his mandatory on the line to fight uh, to fight Dillian White in this last December. You know, I think it was on the Charlo Harrison card and the Charlo Corbob card. And Dillian White declined that to fight Derek Chisora, you know. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, Dillian White had chance, to chance, to chance, to chance, 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 chance. He had Big E give me one more chance. He had so many chances to get this right, and he took the bad advice. He was trying to take the route of least resistance. He was trying to take the easy route to uh to the title. But guess what? You know, he now. The drug test came up, and then Eddie Hearn is trying to sign Oscar Rivas after that drug test came up. I felt that I felt they did Rivas wrong. If I'm Reza, Rivas, I can't sign with no dirt bag like Eddie Hearn, you know. And that's just my humble opinion on the situation. But, um, but he lost his shot. Now Tyson Fury get a shot. Now Tyson Fury ain't the most deserving man of a title shot neither, you know. To get ranked in to the top fifteen, he didn't beat nobody. When the comeback, even though, you know, if you want to go off his reputation, he got suspended for two years. It's a backdating suspension by the UCAT. You know what I'm saying? So what did he truly do to deserve a, a title, a, 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 a title shot at Deontay Water? But it was politics. The WBC, it moved off the green and moved off the, the dollar. Water wanted to fight Fury. He got ranked as long as he entered the Nevada drug testing program. Uh, they let him fight Fury. The, I mean, Water. The fight was close, uh, so pretty much this is their way of ordering the media rematch uh, by making Fury the mandatory. Wilder and Fury already came to terms, so it don't matter if they made it the mandatory or not, but it's, it's convenient for Deontay Wilder because he gets a, a mandatory out the way early 2020, and hopefully he can you know become undisputed or attempt to become undisputed versus Andy Ruiz if he can get past Anthony Joshua. We know Anthony Joshua don't want no parts of fighting uh, Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. So, you know, so Fury, you know, at the end of the day, he already agreed to the fight. They signed for the fight February 22nd, T-Mobile Arena. And, um, you know, that is what it is, man. So, uh, for Dillian White, I don't think nobody feel bad, but for some, uh, UK fans, but 
He played the game all wrong. He wanted to go fight the easy fights when all he had to do was he could have beat Dominic Brazil. He could have been fighting uh, Deontay Wilder in May. And what's so bad about Dillian White is he a, he's a repeat offender. You know, remember they were trying to order the, the Fury and Dillian White title eliminator, you know, for Wilder mandatory, and they both agreed, and then Fury said, well, I don't want to take that fight. It was rumors going around that Dillian White beat the hell out of Tyson Fury in, in the uh, – and sparring. It's also rumors that AJ beat him up in sparring. Well, Fury came out and admitted to that, but we all see who the better fighter is today. But for Wilder to get that mandatory out the way in 2020, I think that's that's colossal for him, man. So, but him and him and Fury is gonna be a mandated title fight. Um, you know, in my opinion, I wouldn't rematch Fury if I was Wilder. It makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? But if they're gonna order him as a mandatory, it kind of make a lot more sense. You know, Fury didn't want to fight. Uh, he didn't want to fight uh, Deontay, you know what I'm saying, in a rematch. That rematch was supposed to happen earlier this year. Fury went another way, you know what I'm saying, two tune-ups, and, you know, it is what it is. And now he's trying to knock off his bucket list. He WWE, MMA, and then him and Wilder is going to fight after the Super Bowl. So, you know, WBC is making it convenient for Wilder. Hugs Wilder come up with the victory. He, <coughs> excuse me. Then he can move on to being undisputed, uh, hopefully, if uh, if Ruiz can win, all right? But Ruiz do got to uh, satisfy a mandatory, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or Andy Ruiz has to fight Kubrat Puav by the end of May. And then it talks about a WBO mandatory coming up with Alexander Usyk. So, you know, Ruiz and Water may not happen until 2021 unless they can get Alexander Usyk to step aside, all right? But... That's just politics. You know, when they consolidate the belts, each sanctioning belt body loses money. That's why they're not keen on having an uh, uh, undis- uh, undisputed or just a unified champion. But when you generate as much money as uh, Anthony Joshua generates, everybody can eat B. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Dillian White, don't nobody feel sorry for him. You know what I'm saying? We've been waiting months and months and months and months and months for, for this, this B sample. And obviously the B sample had to come back. It was dirty. So they trying to work a deal out behind behind the scenes, and Dillian White probably gonna end up getting suspended for another year or something like that. And they said he can be the mandatory in twenty twenty one, but it don't really matter because he getting knocked out. He getting put to sleep. If Wilder still have had that title, he would put Dillian White to sleep. And people say, oh, he ducked Dillian White and this and that, but nobody talks about how these dudes from the UK none of them wanted to fight Luis Ortiz. And don't give me that Ortiz failed a drug. So did Tyson Fury. He put that shit in his ass too. So did Dillian White twice now. None of these dudes wanted to fight Luis Ortiz, but they all want to fight Deontay Wilder. Why? Because they, oh, Wilder, you know, he don't have no fundamentals or he ain't technical and all that. But you know what it is. You're going to sleep. Tyson Fury went for that ride. The ref kind of helped him out a little bit, but it is what it is. We see what Fury and Wilder too look like. Fury have his opportunity. He don't seem too confident to me, but that may that may be water under the bridge. He might go out there. He might, you know, put on another masterpiece and I'll box water again. It might come down to that, but for Dillian White, ain't nobody checking for him. Seriously, nobody's checking for Dillian White. Dillian White can just go into the sunset and nobody will care. You know, but at the end of the day, blame Eddie Hearn, blame Dillian White for not wanting to take the best. Dillian White should have been had a crack at, at Deontay Wilder. All he had to do was fight Ortiz or fight Dominic Brazil down the way, and he would have been fighting uh, Wilder uh, at least in May. That would have been him getting slept, slept in, 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 in the Barclays Center. So it is what it is. You know, they tried to take the, the, the easy route out. Um, so now Fury is the beneficiary of, you know, Dillian White failing the drug test and, and, and dropping his, uh, excuse me, dropping his mandatory status. So we'll see Dillian White in 2021. That's if he cleared the fight by U- the UCAD, which, you know, they're trying to figure a financial uh, situation behind the scenes, I bet. But, hey, it's Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you got business questions, quiet response, your video quest. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, that link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email as well. All those links are in the description. And let me know what you guys think about the video and I'll link an article in the description proving it to be factual. One time for the one time. CJ Goodfellow, we gone.